Hi, Martin Allen here, and today I have a wonderful surprise for you. We're going to learn where your epic fur and cloth armor come from. As you can see here, that this is high level equipment we're talking about, frost resistance in the thousands. It's wonderful stuff and it's super soft. So if you're a fire mage, frost mage, warrior, and you just need some awesome frost protection, chest pieces are the way to go. And you can see that fur armor also protects your head, like this one right here. Take a look, it's a level 85, very well done. And you can see that the gnomes that built this put silk in there so your head stays nice and soft. So these are Tauntauns. You might know them in Star Wars. We supply a lot of the soldiers in the Rebel Alliance with fur from Tauntauns. You might see it as Han Solo has some on Hoth. But these are Tauntauns and they're very, very soft and very warm. And we harvest them for their fur. From birth, Tauntauns are born in electric fence cages where they are then sheared and their fur gets set off to get processed. Tauntauns are sexually active creatures. You can see they're giving each other aura pleasure with their mouths. Oh, quit it, you guys. And here's more footage of them in pens. But enough of this. Let's see how the fur gets processed and utilized into the armor that you all use. After the tauntauns get sheared, they get put into bags where they are then segregated into different colors. Whites, blacks, and browns. Oh, there's our cat Crookshanks. He watches over the bags and makes sure no bears eat them. And uh, here's some lovely video footage of the wall. I don't know why our cameraman took that. And through that door, there are thousands of more bags to be cleaned and processed into your armor. There's Crookshanks again. The Tauntaun fur, also known as fleece, or wool, or fiber, or softness, is then pulled out of bags and spun in a drum to get all the poopy, the dirt, the bugs, or whatever else might be living in there, like lice. And this is a fun process, it's a lot like bingo. And then, the drum is opened to reveal the product. It's nice and soft and feels completely different than it did when it was in the bags. Take a look, that's real tauntaun fur. You never know, that might just save your life one day in a blizzard, or if you run across an ice mage. After the tauntaun wool has been spun in the drum, worker slaves separate the good fibers from the bad. Only the best is used in your epic level 85 armor. The fiber that is deemed unworthy is used to tar and feather slaves who are unwilling to cooperate with corporate laws. Tink Frost is the gnome who owns this operation, and if she doesn't like your job, then you might be tarred and feathered or worse, even killed. The Tauntaun fur is then stored in a room where they are once again segregated between blacks, browns, and whites. The Tauntaun fur is then weighed, ready to be shipped off to an undisclosed location. Every day, thousands and thousands of bags are processed and waiting to be turned into your high-level PvP gear. After being shipped off, the tauntaun fur comes back into bolts of yarn and string and which is utilized to make gloves, jackets, and even wonderful offhand items such as bears that increase your mana pool. And now, you know how tauntaun fur is utilized to make your high epic level gear. I hope you had a great time watching my video, and please, as always, rate and subscribe, and make sure to hit the like button. Thank you very much, and have a good day.